right, so let's look graphically what happens to consumer surplus, producer surplus, total welfare of society when uh, the government puts in a price seat, a price floor. So we've got this market, uh, we've got the uh, equilibrium price, P star, Q star, and the government comes in and says, you know what, that, that price is too low. We're going to put a price floor in. We're going to put a price floor in up here, binding price floor. Uh, and uh, you can't sell below that price. You've got to sell above that price. So what happens to the consumer surplus? Well, this was the consumer surplus before the price ceiling. So it was this entire area. Now that there's a higher price, again, the definition of consumer surplus is it, it's the area above the, uh, the price and below the demand curve. So now that we have a higher price, Instead of being this entire triangle, it's now this smaller triangle. So it's no longer the big triangle. It's now this little triangle. This is our a new consumer surplus. So this, this amount of consumer surplus here was taken away from the consumer. They lost that consumer surplus because of this, this price floor that was put in. What about the producer surplus? Well, before the price floor, this area represented the producer surplus. All right. Again, the definition of producer surplus is the area below the price, above the supply curve. And so whenever the government raised the price, now the, the producers are getting a much higher price. Well, that's great for the producer. Right Now they're seeing this much larger producer surplus assuming that all these units are sold, assuming that they're selling this many units. But are they selling that many units? Well, no, because the, the consumer is only demanding this many units. They're not selling the total quantity, quantity they would like to supply because the, the consumer only demands this many units. And so instead of selling, instead of increasing from this triangle to this much larger triangle, they've gone from this triangle to this area. So again, it's the area uh, below the price uh, and above the supply curve. So the new producer surplus is this area, right? Consumer surplus was this area, right? So if you look at before the price ceiling was put in, price floor was put in place, and after the price floor was put in place, you can see that the total welfare change, the total loss in welfare, was this triangle, right? Beforehand, consumers were getting this. This was part of consumer surplus. This was part of producer surplus. Uh, but now with the price floor that's put in place, these two are gone. Poof. Uh, and, and we've seen that this uh, rectangle here used to be consumer surplus, but it's now producer surplus. So this is just, this is just a swap, a uh, transfer of welfare. It's gone from the consumer to the producer. But, but this triangle, this triangle here is gone. That's the, the dead weight loss, or the dead welfare loss. Uh, that's the, the loss that's come about because of, of the, the price floor that was put in place. So what's, what's the value of that? Well, if you want the value of that, you figure out the area. So you figure out the, the height of that triangle, you figure out the base of that triangle, those two distances, and you divide it by half. So one half base times height should give you that the loss, uh, total loss of welfare to this system because of, of the uh, price floor that was put in place.